and another one, and another one. In 2017, my husband and I experienced four miscarriages. All babies that we wanted, all babies that we prayed for and hoped for, were taken from us without our permission, and it was the hardest year of our lives. No one can prepare you for that. And I was so depressed and upset. I thought to myself, how am I gonna go on with my life if I can't even be a mom? It's something I've desired my whole life and I can't make my husband a dad. And I would lay in bed in the mornings and be like, God, give me something to get me out of bed in the morning because I can't do it on my own. For months, I prayed that prayer. And that's when 80 Day Obsession came into my life. And I will never forget the day I heard about 80 Day Obsession because I knew from the second I heard about it, it was going to be that answer of prayer. I knew it. And I didn't know much about it all that, other than that it was 80 days and that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but I knew that was going to be the thing that changed my life. And I, but it took me making a commitment to myself and I'll never forget when I did that. I sat at the edge of my bed, it was a Thursday afternoon, and I told myself, Emily, right now you have two choices. You can go all in and let this completely change your life, or you can kind of go in and kind of let it change your life. And I made a commitment to myself that day that no matter what the next three months threw in my way, I was going to give that program my all because I owed it to myself and I deserved it after the year we went through. And we were just getting ready to start our fertility treatments, so lots of hormones. We also had a trip to Disney World planned, and New Orleans, and birthdays and barbecues, but I told myself no matter what, I was gonna stay on track. And to this day, that was the best decision and commitment I have ever made to myself. So how's your life different today? Oh my gosh. Well, since making that commitment at the edge of my bed, I've lost 24 pounds. And I'm a better wife, I'm a better friend, I'm a better coach. And it's evident because we went from me being a solo diamond team, I was the only diamond, I had a few believers who believed in as much as I did, to now we're a superstar team, we have 19 personally sponsored diamonds. And the proof is that, and to me, it's, people ask all the time, what did it? And it blows my mind because I think all the time, like I had to go through the worst year of my life for people to see that a program can take you out of that. And I shared everything. When I wanted to run and hide, I shared it on social media. And you can ask my coaches now, they'll tell you that they watched everything. They thought that I would never come out of that depression. But seeing that a program like 80 Day Obsession can make me come out on top and better than I was before, that was inspiring. And I want you all to know that I've sat up there four different times. This is my fifth summit. And I would gather all this information, leave with a fire, and I want you to learn something from me. Leave with the fire, but don't let it go away. Don't let life get in the way and things get hard. You have to keep going, you have to keep showing up, and you have to keep being a product of the product. Something that I preach to myself every day and to my team is, if you kind of sort of try, you kind of sort of get results with your fitness and your business. Thank you. Awesome. Coaches, can you help me give one more round of applause for Superstar